Well, I don't know if you can see, but we're back in our church building. We're streaming and broadcasting our services uh, from this space once again as we start to emerge from our lockdown. Buildings are really useful, aren't they? Church buildings are useful. It's great to have a space we can call our own, a space where we can meet and set aside for worship, a space that even stands as a symbol that we're here for the community. We're open for everyone and we're staying. Um, This is no temporary thing. We're here for the long term and we're here for everyone. A building is great, but one of the things of these past few weeks when we've not been able to use it at all, when still at this moment um, it's only me who's coming in here, is that it directs our attention away from our building. Um, I don't know about you, but certainly keeping a, a historic building open and safe and functioning well, it takes up a lot of our time and attention and energy, and it's good to care for it. But at the same time, there are weeks when I know I think a lot more about this building than about God. And that can't be right, can it? It's a bit like this, isn't it? Um, Imagine going to Buckingham Palace to meet with the Queen, a a personal invitation. And you arrive to the palace and uh, one of the attendants says, this way, please, this way, please. Come on, the the Queen is this way. And you, you look around, you say, oh, well, just hold on a second there. Look at this carpet. I don't know what you call it, plum or, or, or puce, but look at the twill on it. Isn't it amazing? And you go on, you see all sorts of fantastic things, uh, uh, lampshades and, and paintings and, and great decorations. And then one of the attendants says to you, well, Her Majesty's waiting. Uh, will you come now? And you say, well... Just a minute, there's a fascinating light bulb over there I want to examine. Well, that's the danger. There's always a danger that we'll be caught up in things which are less good than God and not give our attention and our love to God himself. This is what it means when we talk about giving glory to God alone. We realize how prone our minds are to wander and fix their loves on good things, good gifts of God. Maybe during this period where we're kept apart from worshipping in our buildings, we can use it as that extra impetus to direct our love to God alone, to his glory, and maybe being weaned off some of those things that we sometimes lean upon rather than giving ourselves to him. We can certainly try and see the, the silver lining in this cloud as we continue to, to worship and pray and love in this time, which is very different from anything we've been used to before.